excited. We are about to do our video testimonial with Ed Marsh and we are going to be surprising him as the member of the month for January for Chandler. This is the first one we have done in quite a while so we're super stoked about it and couldn't feel more blessed to be honoring Ed Marsh. Um, he's a veteran. He's been with us for years. Um, we've been trying to do this for a little while now so super excited. So why do I float? Uh, the first time I tried it, I know a lot of people when they first try it, sometimes they're like, oh, that first one, they go through different experiences. They weren't sure if they liked it. I loved it the first time. So I, uh, super busy. I have a couple different careers. I've got two young kids, one 10 year old, one seven year old, both boys, one with special needs. And uh, I think the thing about floating is that you know, everybody's like, oh, you know, I need to take some time for myself or, you know, I want to do something fun or they're having a hard time being present or they're having a hard time not with their racing thoughts. Uh, going in the float pod, like think about it like getting on an airplane. If you don't have anything else to do. You're forced to be there. Um, and those times when you do have something else to do, when you think that you're going to get present when you're at your house or all that kind of stuff, you don't because you end up getting distracted because you know you can do it. So you walk around the corner and you start emptying the dishwasher or you start doing, and so you never really get to that point where you can be quiet. You have no choice in there. So it's the one time when I can force myself to get in and, um, and just be there. And whatever happens, whether I'm just relaxing or sometimes you might go off fall asleep, sometimes you might meditate. Um, and it's super, super relieving for my body too, being a former athlete and things like that, playing football for nine years and a bunch of other sports. So awesome. those are some of the reasons. That's awesome. That's not even all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any advice for new floaters? Okay, I guess since you asked, I don't usually offer unsolicited advice, but you did ask. So <laughs> uh, I think the thing is, is because I had already done some meditation work before here, it made it a little bit easier because a lot of people who have a hard time floating, I think, because I don't have any data to support <laughs> this, are the same people who say, I could never meditate. Right, you yeah. You know, and the reality is it's like, you can, mm -hmm. you know, and so stick with the floating and maybe even like start to do some short meditations. You know, find something just on YouTube or look something up and find some short meditations. There's a lot of good ones out there. Um, Dr. Joe Dispenza is my favorite meditations. My second favorite are primordial sound meditation from Deepak Chopra. Mm -hmm. So those are things that you can do and then floating is gonna just get that much better. And then the other reason I would say is just from a purely physical standpoint, if you learn to like floating, it's gonna be great for your body. I mean, I had a, one of the practitioners that I really respect a lot tell me that one you know, float is worth about four hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. And we all need more of that. That's for we sure. all need more recovery. <laughs> we all need better sleep because I'm super passionate about floating and really believe in it and want people to do it more. The other thing I would say is too is sometimes you get those adjustments like you do when you sleep, but more. You know, so you get your shoulder that'll move or your leg and things like that. And you can tell that your body's realigning without doing anything other than laying there. And that's really a nice thing to know because you know that your body's going to feel better. It's getting into a better physical condition than where you started. So. We actually chose you in our Chandler location as our member of the month. So you are our member of the month. What? Are you and kidding me? we have me? a little gift for you as well if you want to open it that, up for us. Oh, come on. And the bag's also for you. You guys totally <laughs> set me up. This is awesome. We did. <laughs> You can go ahead and show the camera if you Thank want. You. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, team Chandler, Gilbert, Jill, all of the people who work at the different locations. Appreciate it. I love floating with you guys. You know that, but I'll tell you it again because even when we know things, it's still nice to be told you guys are the best. Mwah. <laughs>